Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Salem 33TS travel trailer. This is a two bedroom travel trailer with three slide outs and an outdoor kitchen and also washer dryer prep. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Salem 33TS travel trailer. As you've seen on the floor plan, two bedroom, triple slide out unit here. We're gonna start back here in the back and then we'll kind of work our way forward and then we'll head back outside for you. So here on our left hand side or on inside door side of the RV, we have a bunk area and there's an emergency exit window up there. There's also cable and electric outlet up on the ceiling there so you could mount your TV on the back wall. They kind of built a little cubby area here with basically kind of the intent to use it as steps so that you could climb up onto that top bunk without needing a traditional fold in and out ladder. It's kind of nice. The main subfloor is all vinyl floor. You got an electric outlet, USB charger port down there electric outlet USB charger port up here. So three electric outlets on just this one rear wall. Window back here does open. Now over here we have our slide out for the bedroom area. And this has a bunk area right here that again, another window that opens, but that bunk also will flip up. And let's set the camera down here real quick, just to kind of give you an idea what that looks like. So this right here, all it does this kind of goes up. There's kind of a chalkboard thing on the bottom here. And then this just latches back into place. They put a little latch right there. So you got a sofa during the day. And again, kind of a little chalkboard thing there. And then this sofa will actually flip out and give you kind of a short queen bed. So you could sleep roughly four people back here pretty comfortably. And then on the slide floor is that woven material that they use on pontoon boats. So it's not carpet, uh, but it's a little more rugged and durable. And back behind here, another electric outlet and USB charger port on the wall. The AC is also ducted into this room. And then you have heat duct in here as well. Now stepping back out into the living room kitchen area, or just outside of the kids' room, is the bathroom area here. So you have a foot flush toilet, little sink area, some decent amount of storage down there for your towels and linens, medicine cabinet, little vent fan up there, AC is ducted into here as well. Then you have your skylight above your shower, glassed in shower area here. It's basically a step in shower. But overall, you know, there's plenty of room to come in, use the facilities. Not too bad. Out here, you have a, what they call a Versa lounge setup. So this is a booth dinette with storage underneath, or right now it's in L-shaped mode. So the booth back is flipped around, but this allows you to seat more people in here if you're wanting to watch TV. There's also storage with some totes and stuff below the couch area. The couch will make a bed, the dinette will make a bed, so you can sleep some guests out here if you need to or want to. And you might be able to see a little bit of it in this uh, little poster that they throw out here to kind of talk about this. You want to pause the video and you can kind of check that out. Kind of a pantry area, electric outlet down there, electric box with the breakers and fuses also down there.
Again, that woven material on the slide floor in here. You have some very large windows overlooking the backside area of the RV, and they have pull down roller shades on them in here. Now over here in the kitchen area, you have the Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. There's an inspection panel below that. Just to the lower right is your propane leak detector. There is a Furion oven, which does have the light up knobs and the light inside the oven, glass front. Um, there's an inspection panel also below that. And then you have the three burner gas cooktop with a flip up and down glass lid. So if you're not cooking, you can flip the glass lid down and give yourself a little more counter space. Furion hood range light and fan and Furion microwave. Now up above here, we have some more storage. Window back here does also open. It has kind of a metal blind on it. And down below, you have four drawers, or sorry, three drawers down here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers, but there are three of those there. And then a pretty good amount of storage space underneath the here as well. You have a double bowl sink, so there is a little divider in the middle here and a little strainer cover. Little thing here talks about again Go Power Solar. So, right now, as part of the uh, promo, they have that free fiberglass and they also have a free solar, uh, free tinted windows uh, as part of a package that they added on to the later 2023 versions, where the first round of 2023s did not have that. Coleman ducted AC. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Furion sound bar right there. There's also some storage on each side. And then you have your TV hookups here and prepping for the King Wi-Fi Connect aftermarket thing that you can do. Feed your wires up through here, mount in the back of the wall so you can put you a pretty large TV here. Plenty of room to maneuver around when you first walk into the RV as well. They do put a little construction breakdown. Again, if you want to kind of pause the video and read that, you can. But it kind of goes over some of the construction stuff. Up here we have a main light switch, which is also a dimmer switch to turn off a lot of the ceiling lights or dim them down. Some more light switches, water heater on gas button, the water heater electric buttons outside, water pump if you got to use portable water instead of city water, slide button, an awning button, and your battery condition, black, fresh, and gray water tank meters all right there. Now going right in here, we have the master bedroom area. So we have what they call a custom king. This is 66 inches wide, so six inches wider than a queen, and 78 inches long. So again, their version of a custom king. You have electric outlet and USB charger ports on each side of the bed, a little bit of an end table on each side of the bed, window on each side of the bed, and those do open as well. The bed will also raise up has a shock assist on it. There's storage underneath of there. And then there's some little cubbies here as well. There is a ton of room here to maneuver around this bedroom area here. Lots of floor space in here. Little cabinet area down here. Window here will also open. And just above the window there on the ceiling is a cable outlet and electric outlet. So again, you could either set you a table or a 
TV in front of the window or maybe mount your one on the wall. Now, very important if you do anything mounting on walls, make sure you don't use too large of a screw. You'll go right through the outside if you're not careful. Over here is the washer dryer closet or hanging closet. If you don't order it with washer dryer prep, it's just here to basically be a closet. But there's electric outlets up here. Um, you have the hot and cold water up here if you do washer dryer prep along with the draining and everything. But a pretty large closet. Same thing over here, big closet area, nice and deep. Hanging shelf and uh, closet bar stuff here. Sliding doors. This one was also ordered with that second AC. So it is a drop-in AC, another Coleman AC right here to basically keep this room colder. Slide out button on the wall along with an electric switch there. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the new 2023 Salem 33TS travel trailer here. And uh, just a quick note, Salem is the Big Brother product to the Wildwood, also made by Forest River. They run down the same factory assembly lines built by the same people. Uh, same exact model numbers as well. So this would be a Wildwood 33TS or a Salem 33TS, just some different graphics and colors. All right, so first things up, we have the fiberglass side and rear on this one. It is a promotion that they are running free for a limited time. Um, so you'll see a little sticker as we walk around that says that on there as well. Normally Salem is just a metal sided camper and then you got to go to the hemisphere to normally get fiberglass. Uh, but here they're running a promotion for a little while. We'll see how it goes. White fiberglass with a lower black metal skirting. It is a hung fiberglass wood frame constructed with kind of a wool batten insulation. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, manual override in the front arm head and adjustable arms for tilting. They do have tinted windows as part of that promotion package where last year's version were just clear glass. They have quick drop jacks, also have an enclosed underbelly as well. They do have an option for electric jacks if that interests you, but most dealers don't stock them that way because electric jacks sometimes uh, malfunction a little easier than the manual versions. So you do have more ride entrance step here. Rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet. Window in the entry door, large folding entry handle. Six gallon gas and electric water heater located right here. It has a inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower middle and the electric switch is in the lower left corner of the water heater out here. Fresh water tank drain located right down here. Outdoor speakers, gravity fill fresh water tank fills up right here, furnace exhaust out right here, electric outlet also right here. There is a little advertisement sticker there about the King Wi-Fi Connect and the enclosed heated underbelly, along with your stove exhaust vent out right there. The unit is a dual axle unit, has drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Make sure you have a brake controller in your tow vehicle to work the brakes on the RV. Very important. There is hot and cold low point water drains right here for winterization purposes or storage purposes. Pretty cool outdoor kitchen here. So we have the door with shock assist on it. So it kind of acts as an awning on a sprinkly day. If it gets too stormy, put it away. Um, you have a 110 volt mini fridge instead of a gas or 12 volt version. So strictly works off electric. Electric outlet and cable outlet out here as well. Hot and cold uh, sink here. And that is a sink with a drain. It's not a dump sink. Swing around grill. That is a propane grill. And then you have another quick drop jack and your gas line hookup there for the grill.
Traditional flat back rear end here. It does have a four inch square two bumper, optional spare tire mounted on the back. And yes, I did say optional. A lot of people buy these big units and park them. Don't want the spare because it's just gonna sit there and rot away. So if you're towing it, definitely nice feature to have. If you're just parking it, may not waste the extra couple hundred bucks for it, it's up to you. There is again, four inch square two bumper back here. And that is where a lot of people store their dump hose. Prepped in the top center there for the Furion observation camera. Nice feature to add to the RV aftermarket. Uh, basically allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a campsite. If you're traveling, if you're just parking it permanently, kind of a waste of money. If you are uh, needing to get up on the roof, it is prepped up there for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder that you can buy and it will telescope down. Those are rated for, I think, around somewhere around 330 pounds, roughly. Uh, but it would allow you to climb up on your roof, do your inspections and stuff that you need to do. Also part of the promo package for the 2023 year uh, on these Platinum versions. It does have a solar panel that comes with it as well. Uh, you got, obviously, your TV antenna and all that type of stuff up there, plumbing, stack vents. So make sure you get up there and maintain that stuff. There is black tank flush and city water inlet right here along with your cable inlets. Just down below right here is your gray and black tank dump as well. Detachable 50 amp power cord on this one. This one was ordered with the uh, second AC on it. So you need 50 amp service to do that. And you can kind of see up there the two white ACs. Uh, the, like we said when we were inside, the one in the living room air is ducted, blows throughout, but the one in the master bedroom uh, basically just dumps into the master bedroom. And then just in front of that is also the solar panel up there. Now down here is another dump. Again, this one has the washer dryer prep, so it has its own little dump area as well. I-beam chassis. These slide outs are pre-prepped for Solaire slide toppers. So if that does interest you, talk with your salesperson about that. But you can put a slide out awning cover over top of it, which helps repel you know, water, leaves, twigs, debris, helps shade the room from the sun and stuff like that. So it just kind of helps your slide system. Uh, again, if you're parking it and you're not really doing much with it, you know, you might build a cover over it or something, but you know, Optional slide toppers if those interest you. Here is the solar charge controller for the solar panel there. 30 amp go power solar charge controller. And then you also have a light in here. And there is a couple handles here. Cover for the spare tire. There's some pretty important weight informational stickers also you'll find on the RV. Uh, I kind of posted those up at the beginning. The baggage door is held up by a magnetic holder. Now the front of the RV here is a smooth rolled metal and a lower metal diamond plate. There is room for one or two batteries to go here in the front section. Comes with zero from the RV maker. If you purchase from Couches RV Nation, it does come with at least one. There's a battery disconnect switch right there. Now this one was ordered with two 30 pound propane tanks. 20 pound propane tanks are standard. Some dealers buy them with 30s, some buy them with 20s. So make sure you get what you want. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, power hitch jack with manual override and a light built in. Seven-way Bargman wiring plug to control your lights and brakes and stuff. Again, make sure you got a brake control in your tow vehicle. Heavy-duty safety chains and even has a little holder for them to attach to. But overall, a pretty cool, kind of affordable family RV here. Sleeps a lot, has pretty good amount of room in it. Plenty of room out here under the awning side area to entertain. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.